hello guys welcome to this video this video is all about the timeline of conventions of IMO let's start from 1945 post-world war II UN UNESCO and all these things were formed in 1945 following WHO's formation in 1947 but the countries were you know having this uh, thought of having an international organization for maritime regulation and consultation so hence the idea was convened in the 1948 UN Clause 1 International Conference at Geneva IMCO was adopted but then again after the ratification process and all took almost 10 years for the adoption to come into force that is in 1958 the following year 1959 they met uh, I think both the General Assembly and the Maritime Safety Committee both met in 1959. This IMCO, Intergovernmental Maritime Consultative Organization, changed its name into IMO in 1982 only. Till that it was IMCO. 1960. One of the topmost priorities of IMCO was to, you know, draft a convention for the safety of life at sea which was a hot topic since the titanic disaster in 1912 so 1960 it, it convened for the SELAS and it was also a UN class second conference 1960 but the UN class 2 as you know it actually failed to define the territorial sea so they had to, uh, they had another one and uh, UN class 3 in 1974. So it was adopted in 1982 and came to force in 1994. Okay. Following that, after 1960, what happened is 1965, they've got uh, the Convention on Facilitation of International Maritime Traffic, which is a topmost priority for the transportation of shipping, of, of course, you know, for unifying the formalities and all these things. This has been amended. Uh, in the following years, uh, lastly, including the general neutrality and single window system. So, this is the one load lane convention of 1966. The Torrey Canyon disaster happened in 1967, as you all know, in London, and it spilled uh, around 1,20,000 of crude oil into the sea. So, following that, in 1969, these three conventions came intervention. Intervention means, you know, this convention uh, facilitates the intervention of. Uh, states into uh, the oil pollutions caused at the high seas. CLC Civil Liability Convention for the liabilities, Tonnage Convention for the measurement of tonnage, 1969, 1971 for the passenger vessels and the ships which are carrying nuclear material, we have got two conventions, 1972 the most important Coltrex Collusion Regulation Conventions, the London Convention for the safe uh, recycling of uh, no, London Convention is for the general dumping of uh, waste into the sea, like the general marine pollution. CSC carriage of safe containers, carriage by safe containers. Marpol 1973, we all know that. It's a very important convention. It is one of the key conventions of AMO. Marpol, Salas, STCW, three key conventions. PAL, again, passengers and luggages, carriage by sea. So last 1974, UN Class 3 is also 1974. 1976, we have got the you know limitations of liability of uh, by, of maritime claims, you know, the limitations. IMSO, International Maritime Satellite Organization, came. Okay. Safety of Fishing, Fishing Missiles in 1977. Search and Rescue Convention in 1979 for improvising the you know search and rescue cooperation between countries and to, to, to devise methodologies and missionaries for SAR and clause was adopted in 1982. The World Maritime Unity University, how before that, let us jump into a good fact. Chandrika Prasad Srivastava, he was the you know, Secretary General who had served the longest term from 1974 to 89, almost 15 years, four terms in a row. So, Chandrika Prasad Srivastava, proudly an Indian. So, 
till now none has broken his record so he was also the first chancellor of the world maritime university which was formed in malmo sweden in 1983 okay good news it was actually a new information for me also too so salvage convention of 1989 exxon valdez accident also happened in 1989 1990 oh op oprc right open 90 is also there, that's concerning us right oprc oil pollution preparedness response and control fund convention of 1992 1994 un class committee force committee force stcw 1995 adopted drafted and came into force in 97 only 96 we have again london convention amended hns hazardous and noxious substances convention 1996 sm code the important one the most important one nowadays came into force in 1998 oprc hns amendments in 2000 protocols bunker convention the afs convention okay some environmental great things conventions bunker and afs came into force like adopted in 2001 ISPS code came into force and BWN adopted in 2004. Bellas Water Management Convention in 2004. Nairobi Convention for the you know, shipwrecks 2007. And lastly, the Hong Kong Convention for safe and sound, environmentally sound recycling of ships 2009. So these are uh, comprehensive but not limited to because these i've taken from a lot of sources not from a single source so i might have omitted uh, it might have got omitted something so please add my difference and uh, if uh, you want you can put in the comments also that will be helpful for me also so these are all the conventions okay we're starting from 1945 to almost 2009 i've covered i think in 2012 also we have got some amendments uh it's okay in sua and all we have got amendments suppression of unlawful acts it comes in 1988 actually it comes here somewhere yeah it was omitted right see sua suppression of unlawful lax but it was amended again in 2005 okay so these are the thing so please take a snapshot of this screenshot of this and uh, maybe it will serve useful for you thank you so much